even the tough boss of Squid Game wants her own family. Monica doesn't have kids, and she decided to adopt the doll from her job. There are a lot of candidates, but only one of them can be Monica's daughter. That's how the doll from Squid Game got a mom. When you're the boss of Squid Game, you don't have a lot of free time. So you have to multitask. Like self-care and making the props. That's not always ideal, especially when you don't have any candy molds. Unfortunately, the players didn't like finding hair in their candy. Squid Game is exhausting. It's so stressful. And the doll is all worn out too. The players weren't expecting to see that. Joey wants to know what happened, so he tries to wake her up. But she's sleeping so sweetly that he changes his mind. Let's let her rest. Joey can fill in for her while she sleeps. Although her job seems easy, it's actually not easy at all. Watching the players is really exhausting. But Joey won't give up. Not all the tasks are for the players. Sometimes the players give the guards tasks. So Joey and the other players are going to prank the guard. By sticking a note to his mask. That'll make him look weak in front of his coworkers. The prank worked! But the players didn't think he would catch on so fast. He's furious! They have to hide! When he came into the room, he couldn't find anyone. Who is he supposed to be mad at now? Do you know where the players are hiding? Comment your answers down below! And help the guard get control back! He's waiting for your help! Can you find them all? Tug of War is a classic game, and it looks impressive, but the doll has seen it so much that she's bored of it. It's the same thing every time. This game needs something fresh, so the doll gets involved by helping one of the teams. She knows that the losers will get turned into stuffed animals, which she loves. The doll's main weapon are her eyes, so Monica takes her to the optometrist every year to make sure she can keep doing her job. The doll hates going and gets really nervous. Something always goes wrong. This time, she's so stressed that she burns the doctor's pointer. He prescribes her really thick glasses because he thought the laser was a problem. But that was a big mistake. The thick lenses don't help. They only make it worse. Good thing Monica knows her daughter. She swaps the glasses for sunglasses. To keep her daughter from being bored, Monica came up with an unusual game. She adjusted the chess set to be more like Squid Game and found a good opponent for her. This should be fun for the bored doll and will help her train her brain. If she wants to be like her mom, she needs to be great at logic and strategy and think five moves ahead. But Monica should work on her patience. She's a really sore loser. <laughs> the doll is usually great at her job, but something is going wrong. Her sensors are going haywire. She can't tell which players are moving. If she can't catch them, she'll be in big trouble. Can you help her spot the players who are moving? Comment their numbers so she can keep her job. Well, did you find them? Comment the answers for her. Sometimes the boss gives the players extra tasks, like the one Joey just got. Well, he just has to go to the store to get more food for everyone. All he needs to buy is eggs and water. But he doesn't know how many, so it ended up going wrong. One bad move could ruin all the food. Eggs are so fragile. Luckily, Joey has fast reflexes, and he saved the egg. Well, almost. One broke. Oh, that's so sad.
sometimes the tasks are really tough. Cutting the shape out with a dull needle is hard. Joey is bummed that he's the only one who got a needle that's not sharp. So he asks the doll for help. Since he's been here, they've actually kind of become friends. So the doll is happy to help him. But her laser eyes are too strong. Instead of sharpening the needle, she melted it. Joey's task is even harder now. Thanks a lot. Joey is in big trouble for failing that task. He has to wash the guard's floor. This is gonna be a bad night. It could have been going faster if the guards respected what he was doing. But they keep walking on the clean floor. This is going to take forever. Joey needs something that'll stop the guards. Like the doll's outfit. When the guards see the dress, they'll think twice about getting the floor dirty. They knew that the doll could burn them with her lasers. Joey's plan worked. The guards are being so careful now. The boss has so much work to do. She seems really busy. Let's not distract her. Well, she's just playing games. But we shouldn't bother her while she's on her break. She lost her game and now she's mad. So mad that she sends Joey far away. To be honest, she didn't even notice at first. Poor Joey. The doll doesn't have a lot of friends, so she's happy to have Joey in her life. She hangs out with him and they play together. The other contestants don't like that. They were happy to play with her at first, but not for long. Because when she first joins the game, it's clear that she's a really sore loser. She always gets what she wants. No one wants to play with her. You think crying is weak? You're wrong. And so is this guard. He thought all these candy wrappers are because of the doll. Her mom's the boss, so she gets away with everything. But the trail of wrappers led the guard to the big boss. Turns out she's upset because of her favorite TV show. Unrequited love is heartbreaking. The guard teared up too. How could Don Carlo do that to Sophia? This show is so cruel. Plus, the guard ate all of Monica's ice cream. You better be careful with that. She's still your boss. Even though Monica is strict, she likes to spoil people in her own way. One time, she bought the guard's gifts. So impressed by her generosity, but only one of them is getting a raise. The rest of them aren't as lucky. They got demoted to player status. Friendship ended. The doll loves hanging out with her friends, but her only friends are toys. Monica's not happy about that, so she puts together a real tea party for her daughter. The players aren't happy about this. But do they have a choice? Before getting scared, you should give the doll a chance. Joey might even learn that she's not a monster. She's sweet. And a great cook. You should be more trusting, Joey. Monica is super rich, but she doesn't spoil her daughter rotten. Whenever the doll comes to get her allowance, Monica says no a lot. And the doll has to get sneaky. She'll use players to get her money. She knows a place where there's plenty of cash. The prize fund! 
the players thought this was another game, so they agreed. But it's not. Then, they see the boss and have to convince her that they weren't trying to rob her. After that little stunt, security is going to increase for sure. Partying alone is boring. The doll knows that very well. And she always tries to play with the guards. The players don't want to do it because she cheats. But the guards will play along. She's their boss's daughter, even if she is a sore loser. Just let her win. <laughs> Time flies when you're playing with your mom. But it's easy to lose track of things like taking the candy out. It smells like it's burning! What a waste of resources. We need to take care of this. Monica suggests cleaning off the burned candy. They did a great job, but the candy's got much smaller. Monica and the doll are happy, but they're not the ones who have to cut the shapes out. Their mistake got the players in serious trouble. They've never seen such tiny candies before. All of a sudden, the next games are canceled. Joey and the doll are shocked. Monica explains her reasoning. She's pregnant. Joey wants it to be a boy, but the doll wants a sister. But we don't know yet. What do you think? Will it be a boy or a girl? Comment your guess down below. Even though she's living as normal and still going to doll college, something is different now that she has a mom. She's going to have a very special vacation. All the other dolls are going to summer camp, but Monica shows up to take the doll to take a peek at this year's upcoming Squid Game. Something this family absolutely loves is playing Dachi. But ever since they adopted Molly, things have been different. Hmm. She thinks Dachi is super outdated. And she wants to show her parents how it's done these days. It took a while, but now Joey and Monica are addicted to gaming. What are they playing? It's still Dachi, just the video game version. Molly isn't spoiled, but she loves to eat. Whenever her tummy rumbles, she sits at the table and waits for cornflakes. She could eat them all day long. And so could Joey. <laughs> He's been eating nothing but honeycomb candy for years. So he really wants something new. But the cornflakes are only for Molly. Joey has to eat candy again. He really loves Monica. He'd eat even more candy just so as not to upset her. Monica is a really bad cook. No matter how hard Joey tries to help, she only ever makes the same thing. All she makes is sugar. He tries to add things to the dish, but magically, it just turns into the same old thing. Even with different ingredients, Joey gets honeycomb candy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's bad for your teeth. Molly is still getting used to her new house. It's an interesting place. And to be honest, she's getting used to it pretty fast. Maybe because she's a robot. But her parents still love her. Joey got a gift for her. A new dress! Now she has more than one outfit. Molly got creative and put her own flair into the dress. And dad's clothes. Now Joey has a stylish top. Would Molly make a good fashion designer? Comment below! Joey really loves Monica. And he's so happy whenever she comes home from work. He always gives her a foot massage. Normally, Monica's thrilled. But not today. Joey mixed her up with someone else. Understandable mistake. The guards all have the same uniforms and masks. It's easy to get mixed up in all these shapes. But Joey got away with it. This mysterious guard is Monica's dad. 
If Joey had been paying more attention, he would have noticed. His father-in-law always keeps his fishing rod with him. Monica has always wanted a daughter, so it's no surprise that she spends a lot of time with Molly. She's so happy to have a daughter. Now, on payday, Joey is in way bigger trouble than he's ever been in before. He keeps trying to hide part of his paycheck from his family. He'll never get away with it. Joey does a lot for the sake of his wife. Her cooking isn't even the biggest problem. Living with her is like one endless squid game. He even has to fight for the blanket, like it's tug of war. This could have gone on forever, if not for Molly. She can fix everything with her laser eyes. No need to fight over the blanket if there are two blankets. Molly wants to help her parents around the house. She loves doing laundry. It's easy. Just toss it in, hit start, and wait. But Molly doesn't know exactly how it works, or that you should never mix color laundry and white laundry. Or you might end up like Joey, who has to wear a pink shirt to work. He'll get in trouble for violating the dress code, for sure. Joey's candy-only diet has got a lot of negative consequences. He usually wakes up every night hungry and tries to sneak to the kitchen. But he has to be careful so Monica doesn't find out that Joey buys food with his secret money stash. He keeps it hidden in the fridge. He just doesn't want to upset Monica by admitting he doesn't like her cooking. This is getting impossible now that Molly's here. She won't let Joey eat when he's not supposed to be eating. She cares about his health. So Joey goes to bed hungry. To keep his tummy from rumbling, Molly brings him a glass of water to fill him up. Looks like Molly has an admirer. He asked her out on a date. Molly has to ask her mom for help because she has no idea what to do. This is her first date ever. Monica is great at picking outfits. Don't try to disagree with her. How to get popular in Squid Game? Check it out on Troom Troom Trick.